Guys, welcome. Yeah, so in our first video on the dot product, we learned that we can find the dot product between two vectors by multiplying corresponding components and then adding the results together, right? And that's still a good way to find the dot product. But in this video, we're going to learn another way to find the dot product between two vectors, and that is using this formula. It turns out that u dot v is also equal to the length of u times the length of v times the cosine of alpha, where alpha is the angle between the vectors u and v. And FYI, uh, several months ago, I already made a video proving this formula. So if you want to know where this formula comes from, uh, you should watch my uh, video on uh, the dot product formula proof. I think that's what I called it. And I'll try to link it below this video uh, when I get around to it. Yeah? All right. All right. Cool. Um, so why do we need a second formula for finding the dot product? Well, first of all, the second formula doesn't require that you know the components of u and v. It only requires that you know the length of u, the length of v, and the angle between u and v. Uh, and so, you know, it has different, like, inputs, so to speak. Um, but also, if we uh, use our old method for finding u dot v and combine it with this new method, then we can calculate the angle between two vectors uh, if we don't know it ahead of time, obviously. Like, why else would we calculate the angle between two vectors <laughs> if we already know, right? Okay, anyway, anyway, uh, let's uh, see this in practice. So, um, suppose the vector u is 2, 2, and the vector v is 2, uh, negative 2. And I intentionally made them so that they are perpendicular, right? Like, clearly, these two vectors are uh, at a 90 degree uh, from one another, right? So, alpha here between these two vectors is... Uh, 90 degrees is what I'm saying. Now, using our old method, we would calculate that u dot v is equal to 2 times 2 plus 2 times negative 2, which is 4 plus negative 4. That is 4 minus 4, therefore it's 0. And no surprise, uh, we know that uh, if two vectors are perpendicular, their dot product is 0. And so uh, let's convince ourselves visually, if you're not convinced, that these two vectors are in fact perpendicular. And as I've already said, then that means that this angle alpha here is 90. So if we use our new formula, we should be consistent. That is, we should find that the dot product between the two vectors is 0, even using our new formula. And this is how we would have done it, using the new formula. Length of u is 2 root 2. Length of v is the same length, right? 2 root 2. And then we multiply 2 root 2 and 2 root 2 by the cosine of 90. But the cosine of 90 is 0. And therefore... Uh, this whole product here is 0. 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 times 0 is 0. And so, yeah, the new formula is consistent in telling us that the dot product between these two vectors is 0. Now, in a couple of videos to come, I'm going to show you how to, fi how to find the angle alpha um, between two vectors by using this new dot product formula. Um, and the next video will be uh, demonstrating how to find alpha in 2D. And then um, the uh, other video will be doing it in 3D. Both pretty interesting examples. So, uh, yeah, look out for those. Hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.